मेरे प्यारे देशवासियों इस बार बजट में स्वच्छ भारत के तहत गांवों के लिए बायोगैस के माध्यम से वेस्ट टू वेल्थ और वेस्ट टू एनर्जी बनाने पर जोर दिया गया इसके लिए पहल शुरू की गई और उसे नाम दिया गया गोबर धन गैल्वनाइजिंग ऑर्गेनिक बायो एग्रो रिसोर्स इस गोबर धन योजना का उद्देश्य है गांवों को स्वच्छ बनाना और पशुओं के गोबर और खेतों के ठोस अपशिष्ट पदार्थों को कंपोस्ट और बायोगैस में परिवर्तित कर उससे धन और ऊर्जा जनरेट करना You heard the Prime Minister in his speech. Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi has emphasized on making money from cow dung, but the question is, how can this happen? After all, how can animal waste, that is, cattle feces and urine, can be used to increase income? Whereas in our villages, people either make cow dung cakes from cow dung and use it as fuel, or it has been used as manure in farming. No doubt it pollutes the air. Poisonous insects and bacteria born in the dirt also give rise to dangerous diseases. But the prime minister is talking about the implementation of such a scheme in which money can be made from cattle waste, feces, urine, dry leaves, vegetable peels, etc. Yes. That is why the central government has named this scheme as Gobardhan Yojana. Now the question is how will this scheme work and how can farmers get benefit from it? So let us also explain this to you. India is an agri-based country and 70% of our population is based on agriculture. the farmers living in the villages also keep cattle and earn money from the milk it is true that along with the milk we get waste in the form of excreta and urine from cattle which until now was considered useless but today the central government has started gobardhan yojana to make profit from the same waste the main objective of this scheme is waste to wealth and waste to energy that is earning money and making energy from cow dung which has been considered useless yes under the scheme the government has taken many initiatives to make farmers prosperous purpose of gobardhan yojana energy generation from cow dung benefit to farmers clean and developed villages self reliant india now we will explain to you the features and benefits of gobardhan yojana in simple language whether it is remote villages or hilly areas of india the tradition of animal husbandry has been going on for centuries in such a situation the government has started the work of generating energy from animal waste that is cow dung urine crop residues like dry leaves straw weeds and solid waste from houses under the gobardhan scheme biogas will be made from this waste under the gobardhan scheme a village will be identified in every district of the country where a cluster will be formed in this cluster dung and other crop waste will be procured from the farmers the government aims to make 700 such clusters across the country You must be thinking that how will farmers get an opportunity to earn from biogas production? Actually, cow dung and crop residue will be used as raw material in this biogas plant. And as in every factory, some special goods are made by buying raw materials. Similarly, the government will buy cow dung from farmers as a raw material and generate energy from it. In this way, the income of the farmers will increase. Gobardhan Yojana has been initiated under the Swachh Bharat Mission itself so that the villagers can get rid of the heaps of dirt and can be made cleaner. 
Not only this, the biogas that will be made from cow dung will also be used for cooking and lighting in rural areas. Under the Galvanizing Organic Bio-Agro Resources Dhan Yojana, that is Gobar Dhan Yojana 2021, the government aims to build biogas plants in many districts of the country. Methane gas released from cow dung is converted into CNG in these plants. It will be used to make fuel and electricity. This will benefit farmers as well as small entrepreneurs and new employment opportunities will be generated in the country. New job options will open for the youth and India will move towards self-reliance. Let us now tell you how our farmers can become a part of this scheme and earn profit. So for this, the government has provided the facility of online application. Provided that the person applying should be a resident of the village and he should be a farmer by profession. Apart from this, you can apply online by visiting the official website of the Department of Drinking Water and Sanitation with the help of some documents to join this scheme. In these documents, it is mandatory for the applicant to have Aadhaar card, passport size photograph, residence proof, email ID and mobile number. Under this scheme, the central government and the state government will also provide funds in the ratio of 90% and 10%. It applies to all villages and districts rather than a few selected locations. These biogas plants can be set up at individual, community, self-help group or even at the level of NGOs like Goshala. At present, 115 districts have been selected by the central government for this scheme in which investment will be made in various social services and they will be developed as role models. Under the Swachh Bharat mission, this revolutionary scheme of the Government of India is taking the people of the village towards economic independence, making them self-reliant, opening their earning avenues, giving them a clean environment. The garbage, which had become the cause of filth and diseases for us, it will now become the medium of economic progress. That is, cow dung will now become gold for the farmers. This will increase their income and they will become advanced. It means waste to wealth and waste to energy will make us financially strong and will illuminate our homes. Livestock and cow dung will improve lives of every citizen.